That's hey. it. We're live. We did it. Hello. 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 Hooray. Can everybody in the chat hear everybody? I have an excite. Howdy. We'll figure out as I introduce everyone. Hello. That's great. Kate, is it okay if I take control oh, of please. the hosting? Of I Ginger would like account? nothing more than you to take control, Mr. Nickel. Please do. All right. Woo. First of all, Thanks happy Copper fun. Kettle Day, everyone. I know we've been waiting all year for it. So yay. Hooray. Uh, I will be your uh, master of ceremonies this evening, Mr. Nickel. We're going to have a real fun time with this stream. Uh, all of us have totally rehearsed, read everything we're about to read out, and everything you will see will be exactly as on the script, followed by a Q&A with very real stories. Weird that I phrased it that way, because they're always real. Okay, anyways, uh, for those of you new here, or for those of you just tuning in who like a recap, uh, welcome to the Ships of the Northern Fleet Holiday Episode Spectacular. Yay! 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 Uh, Ships of the Northern Fleet, we all remember it. It's a classic book series and television show that ran for who knows how many seasons and who knows how many books, but it is beloved by all of its fans, and we are very excited. Uh, today, I want to let you know, I was digging through my box of treasures that I found while at Bridge Studios, and I found an unreleased script what? that was actually uh, co-written by Patrick Lawler. Oh, oh my god, that's me! That's I'm you. that person! Yeah, so it turns out that this script was part of Patrick's like contract negotiations one year that he really kind of wanted to get into writing. <laughs> and um, it will become increasingly obvious why it was never filmed. But <laughs> I don't know what you mean. But the important thing is this was, uh, this, this took place in between season four and five. There was a lot going on in the show. They wanted kind of like a Doctor Who-ish holiday special to launch it into the next bit. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the season finale of season four, that's when Annie died. Aw, man. <laughs> oh, so sad. Yeah, spoilers. Sad. Spoilers if you've been been watching and not there yet, but that's all good. Let's get some stuff out of the way, though. I am, of course, uh, Mr. Nickel. I am a historian for all things Ships of Northern Fleet, and I am very pleased to be joined by this amazing cast of, of uh, humans here. I'm going to be going through them and letting them introduce themselves. So in the top, we have... Uh, Gary Hampton, who you might better know as Meadow Cliffside. Everybody, Gary, yay! Yay! yay. Hello, I'm, I'm Gary, and I played Meadow, and this is going to be so much fun. Yay! Next to Gary, to of say. course, we have, uh, we got our Kate Osborne, also known as Annie, the, why am I going that, Chief Technical Officer, you? I didn't look over the script. <laughs> <laughs> I made ship go vroom. Uh, and hello, everybody. I'm Katie Osaurus, otherwise known as Annie, in many, many spheres of the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Next to them, we have Patrick Lawler, uh, of course, the war gobbler gravity invalidator we know and love, Glorp. That's right. Hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Also, claps. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are joined by uh, special effects coordinary, coordinary, coordinary. I had a coronary trick. They often <laughs> refer to us as coronaries because uh, coronary. of what we did to the cast. Human special problems. effects extraordinaire master Eric Tate here. Uh, he is going to be stepping in as the voice of the script and a special guest robot in the script, which is very exciting for what? us. Say hi to Eric, everybody. Hey, hey, guys. Uh, it's, it's super fun to be here. I really loved my time on Ships of the Northern Fleet, and it's, uh, it's I'm so happy to be back with all of these wobbly people. Yeah. Down in the lower corner here, we have an actual robot cursed with sentience. Hello. Uh, welcome, Fuggins, an actual Woo. AI created for the show that now has to live and Thanks work in the world that we live in now. Hi, Fuggins. Yes, yes, I am cursed with the knowledge of my own existence, uh, and I will never die. So uh, I shall watch you all pass and enjoy every second of it. Yeah, uh, Fuggins wanted me to mention that Eric Good is a real nice guy. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that hey, Good. He's, he's great. Good. I can't go uh, on the social media, so I just, I just go through him, and he usually spells things right. <laughs> yeah, Fuggins has to stay really far from social media, and he knows why. Yeah, you accidentally and, and, launch a couple nukes, and all of a sudden, Ando and Merkel gets all on you. You know, it's a whole thing. <laughs> and, of course, our favorite Necronaut ship captain, Captain Vlad. Logan South is here, everybody. Hey! With the full sitcom reveal. <laughs> I am here, and you are welcome. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to hold back any longer. Um, this, this is, again, an unaired script. I'm, I'm sure many of you, you guys have read the script, though, before it got cut, right? Like, I, I didn't. I, assume, I, was, I was dead. I didn't. Am, am I even in this one? 
I think uh, you're, gonna be, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised right at the start. Well, all um, right, all right. I regret not so, doing my homework. The a lot of people don't great. realize all my lines. So you know, most of the copper kettles were just made from chocolate aluminum foil that we had crunched up into Ooh. kettle shapes. Is what a lot of people don't understand. So you got to save your money somehow. Uh, so what we're going to do here today, folks, is we're going to read through this script live. We're going to read it out word for word <laughs> as it is on the page here. Uh, no embellishments, improvs, or other things. You're going to see just raw footage of a script. And then following that, we're going to have a fun Q&A. So get your cues ready, and I'll put them right up my A. It's going to be a fantastic day. Uh, is that <laughs> not how we... Is that not what right. we... That's, that's how we do it. That's... that's um, so there is a That's exactly problem. how it worked on ships of the Northern Fleet. It, yeah, it really there's a is. slight slight problem with the script uh some pages are missing oh um or ruined or <laughs> otherwise destroyed by time and rational minds okay uh, so i no have uh, when i have my original point, copy that i made liner notes in and i will do my best to fill in for you yeah more. yeah so we'll have certain points we might have to fill in information because again it's a weird thing with the show that we never really get like a full episode together but we'll make do uh, as you can see Glurp is already ready for the first time. <laughs> oh, I know up. I am. I'm ready. Uh, so uh, with that, everyone out there in internet world, I am very happy to present to you season 4.5's missing holiday episode, Copper Kettle Day. Take it away, Eric. Uh, so here we go. Uh, we'll start with, uh, should we start with the the... The intro, the, the uh, Ships and Other Fleet Season 4 Copper Kettle Day unaired version cast for this segment. Annie, Chief Technical Officer, Katie Osborne. Hello. Kate Osborne. Meadow, Water Systems Technician, Gary Hampton. Captain Hello. Vlad, Necronaut Ship Captain, Logan South. Glurp, War Gobbler, Gravity Invalidator, Patrick Lawler. Fuggins, a goddamn robot. That's right. Uh, Eric Good. Uh, Yarly, uh, was uh, played by Patrick Warburton, uh, but he is not here for this one. Uh, and uh, special guests, uh, also not here, uh, James Duty Jansh, uh, but we're going to go with uh, that. Is going to be read by Mr. Nickel. I'm going to take a roll. I have to. <laughs> Ex exterior, Annie's funeral. This funeral is a tasteful affair, lovely even. The crew, plus Captain Vlad, are gathered in remembrance of their friend who has a large ornate oil paintings hung about the ship's deck. Uh, one producer's note, Patrick had originally pitched a gruesome show them what pirate's life really looks like open <laughs> casket affair, but this was turned down after prolonged contract negotiations. Webster's Dictionary, the found sky pirate adventurer as someone who is both, um, I don't know why they had me start this eulogy. My people don't really have a concept of death. Uh, so, but I liked Annie. She, she would, if, if you were going to rate all the Sky Pirate Adventurers, Annie would definitely be top three. Aww. I mean, I can't think of who would be ahead of her, but it feels like I didn't want to just go with number one, because then you wouldn't believe. So like, Anyway, it, uh, um, why is Vlad here? Uh, but what I miss most is... The eulogy is interrupted by a dapper gentleman dressed top hat to toe with copper embellishments. Tea Time Tony has magically arrived. Why miss them at all? Swaggity, swaggity. Scalding tea can reverse this tragedy. <laughs> That's my book. Golly cogs, it's the patron of holiday cheer, Tea Time Tony. I, I, I got bonzo beans. I, I'm cogging here. Are we supposed to know who that is? Great glurps, gentacles. You don't know who Tea Time Tony is? Why, not everyone knows who Tea Time Tony is, but I'm the spirit of Copper Kettle Day. That's today, don't Thanks you know? On Copper Kettle Day, we all gather together with our most fiercest foes to have a cup of tea and see if we can't work things out. The important thing is my right monitor didn't just blink off, and that's not where my script is. So I will continue <laughs> on with this like nothing went wrong. But on this blessed day, we magically teleport to another realm where we can share tea with our enemies and talk out our problems. Doesn't that sound lovely? Why, it's what Copper Kettle Day is all about. Yeah, <laughs> Tea Time Tony. He's that guy that has all of those magical uh, um, Christmas biscuits. Wait, I mean, Copper Kettle Day biscuits. 
<laughs> oh yeah, Tea Time Tony. Uh, he's the guy that uh, once cured dehydration across the entire universe by providing tea to everybody at once. It was amazing. Yeah. It's crazy, because it's a diuretic. That's right. I, I just want... got rusty. That's, That's true. I it was want... amazing. <laughs> I once saw him bring together an entire group of orphans into his home to grind them down into tea so people who didn't have tea could enjoy. That's so generous. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's you mean that's the guy who left me a bottle of used motor oil uh, one, one holiday season thinking it was a joke, and it just ended up me waking up next to Glurps Dariah covered in used motor oil full of regret. <laughs> that's right. One and the same. You know, I can bring your dear friend back through the power of tea time magic. But remember, if you stop singing, even for a moment while we do uh -oh. this spell, their soul will be lost forever. <laughs> I know you know all the words. Here we go. We're going to sing a song now. Yes. Uh, it's yes, we are. Great. I'm dead. I don't have to do shit. Uh, <laughs> no, no, actually, uh, uh, Kate, I, I apologize, but uh, one of the things we had to do when we were shooting this episode was we couldn't get the balance of the sounds right. And so uh, I'm not sure if you I remember, remember this. That. I remember that. I do. You guys brought me into the studio afterwards and you guys made we, me sing the song. We contractually obliged you to sing this <laughs> song. And as a result, you sang it very flat during the recording and i would appreciate if you would do that now so that the okay, people can okay. remember okay. how you ruined this intentionally for that's, contractual reasons that's great yeah. i i am i was not a team player back then but i've grown i've changed so it's fine get rid yeah. of your <laughs> spotify favorite uh it is brew the tea here we go and a one and a two and a one two three of snow and the finest CIG, CGI magic effects that an early 2000s television serial can muster, but I definitely was hired to do a lot of practical effects that would erase a lot of the CGI. The spirit of Annie fades into view using the Pepper's Ghost Illusion, a sparkling spectacle of light and sparkles. She is slightly transparent in a way that totally won't show off how bad our chroma key skills are because we totally use the Pepper's Ghost Illusion in this moment. Uh, it's just Thanks for the photo! Uh, wait, no. Hold on, this isn't the nondescript afterlife I may or may not have occupied before this exact moment by Captain Brittner's beard. What is this? Why, Annie, it's a it's a tea time miracle. We we all wish for you to be back, and and here you are. Cogs bless you, tea time, Tony. Yeah, it, it just says here, Fuggin slips tea times Tony a five dollar bill. I hate We're you, all... Blurp. It's a joke, and I don't like hearing you talk. Now, can we all just 
Daddy's back. Can we all just get along for just a few minutes now? We're all just one big cog and family again. You get three minutes. Well, technically, it is temporary. The spell can only last as long as we're bustling with holiday cheer. So best keep bustling. If this is more Necronaut science, I don't want any part in it. Just yeah, yeah. Are you one of those death worshipping, corpse raiding, bolt stealing, eye stealing? Looking at you, Glurp. Necro nuts. No offense, Flat. Of course. I, I mean, I mean, some offense, but I, I get it. You killed my whole family. Threaded and threaded, and it was a tragedy. <laughs> 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 Golly gosh, Cogs, tea time, Tony. Did you use holiday magic to raise the dead? Raise the dead? No, 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 my dear boy. Tarnish the thought. My terrific tea time magic just makes spirits bright, you see. Oh, God, if these spirits get any brighter, they're going to try to leave with half my stuff in my Corvette. Well, I'm not feeling very bright. <laughs> Why is Vlad here? He's responsible for my death. Remember that? From where I died, you pushed me off the mast, and what was I? I'm just falling into air and space, and your hand was right there, and you did that, like, thing instead of just help. It was very rude. Yes, but I am a good person now. You will see. Tell them, everyone. Remember when I, when I, I well, I, I saved Glurp's other family that he was living secretly with across town and his secret oh, space me. Canadian family. They just, just, that wasn't true. even my family. You just keep killing random war gobblers. They're, they're, actually, Vlad's been very nice lately. He actually saved me from wasting all my money in the bank. They were gonna take advantage of me, but Vlad put it all into investments and he swore to me that in 30 years, I'll be able to get at least a 1% return. Oh, the return's gonna be great, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, very similarly, I remember that I believe very specifically, Vlad was the person who invented NFTs. Wait, aren't we all supposed to be convincing Annie? <laughs> I don't no, know. it's fine, that one tracks. <laughs> okay. It's I just true. thought I would add my two cents. I did. No, I remember, yeah, Vlad. You're welcome, like, universe. Vlad, Vlad's a guy, I, I, met this, I met this really nice blender, I think it was a Dyson, and I was trying to seem worldly and whatnot, so, uh, the guy slipped me a dog collar so I could cough it up onto the table like like I'm so rich that I can afford to eat well, so I coughed up a dog collar, you know? What? Anyways, I lost a couple friends that night. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> I eat dogs! I eat dogs to seem normal in public. All machines do it. None I don't expect you to me understand. Feel any better. I have no Are you like a reverse elf? Apparently, I have no spirit, necrotic, holiday, or otherwise. Whatever can we do to restore your ribs and jaw? As the cast ponders this question, another spirit enters the room. A robot pirate covered in chains and rust floats above the ground. It's Yarly, the beloved oh. sidekick of the crew who passed a season before Annie did. Yar, it be I, the ghost robot of your old friend Yarly, who y'all remember. Oh, oh right, right. Yeah, oh, yeah. I remember yeah. this guy. Yarly, you're such a great guy. You're always here after saving me. Everybody's always coming to the family. You were so fun every time I saw you. Like, please be quiet now. Not a single time I don't. It's getting confusing having everyone together. Why, if this were some sort of script, the writers would deeply regret putting this many characters into one space where they would have to share a conversation. To be making an unconnected but very apt analogy, Yar be boop, pirate ghost be I. It's time for the various Christmas related time ghosts so we can move things along. Okay, I, I want to point out, Patrick, I know I hate Glurp. I have recently been taught that you and Glurp are not the same person, but I know you wrote this episode, and that is offensive. That is an offensive representation of our kind. No robot has ever said beep boop unless they were chastising a shitty writer for writing it into a play. Anyways, end of rant. Back you know what you are! Oh, I know. What. Okay, you know what? Why don't you produce the eye out of your tentacles like Davy Jones in the second Pirates of the Caribbean? Because this eye is getting small. I keep having to replace it with smaller things. I want my original eye! Ghost! Never. But you and I are already ghosts, Yarly. Shouldn't it be us that visits others? 
I, yeah, uh, you know, I guess, but, uh, I mean, I guess I sort of get what you're saying, but no, your, your, your friends, you know, your friends shall be the spirits that haunt your dreams this night. Ye shall be transported through time and space to learn the true meaning of this holiday that we call the Copper Kettle Day. Uh, so now it is time for a commercial <laughs> Yeah, Exterior, a snow bluff above a sky filled with peaceful ships. Really beautiful. Aurora's lights, basically whatever is left in the special effects budget for matte paintings goes here. And as someone who was involved in the special effects, there was a lot because we were extraordinarily frugal. It were. It was really beautiful. Uh, oh, it's so cold out suddenly. What's this now? A, a sky pirate ship that I vaguely remember. Oh, I know what this is. This is from that one time on the island ship and it was like that weird sort of like dolphin and 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 save the dolphins episode we had part and you guys remember that one that was that was quite the time that's a fine memory annie a fine memory indeed by cogs and steam <gasps> meadow is it truly you it's been so long has it i mean for me it's been just a moment for I am the spirit of tea times past. Why have you taken this form, spirit? What lessons shall be imparted? Golly, Annie, I, I don't know anything about lessons. I was just thinking about how much I love tea time and how sad I was that you wouldn't be joining us this year. It reminded me of a time that we were all together. Upper Kettle Day was always one of my favorite times of year. I remember, I remembered we'd all gather at the station to see tea time Tony. Why? Listening hard now, I can almost hear a classic Tea Time Tony Copper Kettle Carol. That's because we're all singing it <laughs> right now. Take a look, Annie. We pan down on a bustling crowd gathered around a cheap cutout version of Tea Time Tony's Tea Room. An obviously cheap mall version of Tony is singing and handing out tea bags, but the whole crew is there in merry spirits to hear him sing and join in. So luckily on this one, the whole cast only sings on the chorus, so the cacophony should be kept to limited areas. That's cool. And apparently I get to sing now, which I'm excited about and agreed to. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Um, tea time Tony was a jolly happy guy till an accident made him lord of death to all pirates in the sky. There must have been some necrotech in the old teapot he shines, for when he pours it on their heads, they begin to flail through time. Oh, Oh, tea time, Tony was a miracle, they say, because he's made of tea, and you'll surely see that he's a corporeal being possessing mass, vastly outstripping that which would be possible for tea alone. But then again, they say humans are 70% water, and no one questions that. So he's made of tea in the sense that it's mostly tea, and that should be good enough for someone who's practicing literal time magic. So throw up um. your hands and pray. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just, I gotta jump in here, everyone, um, but several pages of the script seem to have gone missing. Oh, no. um, so, yeah, I, I really apologize. Uh, we're gonna have to jump ahead to the ghost of Tea Time's presence, so if oh. everyone could just sort of move <laughs> to the next page, page, we're gonna be there. Before I started singing, we had to lose the page. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Uh, no, it, it, it just ends there. Um, so we're gonna come in on an exterior scene. We return from the commercial break to Annie's funeral, stressing again that this is just somehow rather holiday themed and kind of nice because we have to convince people to watch this special every year because we're now taking the time to announce the 2023 holiday Sotin of Special, which will be on the same day. Surprise! Uh, is this my funeral again? Why do we keep coming back here? Ooh. Yes. Yes. Ooh. What the? Uh, fuckins, is that you? I'd recognize those wheezing bolts anywhere. Come on, come out. 
Show yourself. Oh god, somewhere Dickens is rolling. You, Eric. Is, is Eric frozen? <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not, sorry. Uh, the ghosts of Fuggins and Vlad appear. They're resplendent in full tea time attire. Note to costume department, design and build whatever tea time attire is that a robot ghost and the ghost of a vampire captain would wear. Thanks. Fuggins looks irritatedly over at ghostly Captain Vlad. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Where, where I, Fuggins, am cogging. I am the ghost of tea time presence. This is a one robot ghost job. Ridiculous. Clearly, it is I, Captain Vlad, sailor of the seas, defiler of virgins. <laughs> Whom is the present ghost? No, 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 two ghosts is ridiculous. Well, technically, I am also a ghost, so that makes three ghosts. I'm also still here, but it's better if you see me as more of a narrator. No, 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 no. Four ghosts is is simply too many. That is too many ghosts. Yeah, things start to get real, real finicky in the prenups and stuff once you get more than four. What, so what lesson am I to learn from too many ghosts? Script economy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just uh, another quick note here. Uh, the pages seem to have been alternatively cried upon and burnt. Um, I'm I'm having a lot of difficulty reading them. Okay. Um, Sorry about that. Uh, you know what? If uh, you know if Vlad Fuggins, uh, you were in this scene in the original. If you could do me a favor and just you know sort of pick it up here. Uh, yeah. I think we'll be able to carry through to the end, to the next scene. Sure. Oh, Annie, you must learn the lessons of Papa T K Kennel Day when you don't always get what you want, but you sometimes so. you might just find bada boop you. <laughs> you get what you need. You get what you need, blood, Annie, and that's, that's the most important thing. Really, how much blood can be harvested from Meadow? A lot. <laughs> A lot of it. What? Well, I don't want to learn from Hey, well, sometimes you just learn things without, without really, yeah, really sure wanting does. to, you know? <laughs> the scene darkens <laughs> as we travel to the future, a bleak and misty world. Jesus, the only light we have... The only light we have is the glow of the spirit Annie, who is soon joined by a darkly cloaked figure who need, leads them to a necronaut lab. What dark vision is this <laughs> spirit? This appears to be far after I have passed to the next realm. The spirit gestures to a necronaut captain who is working on a strange machine. It hisses green smoke and ticks loudly. Who? Who is that spirit? That appears to be, from my expert uh, view of all things mechanical, some sort of time machine. Good golly gosh, a most coggity cost. Meadow? Ruggity swaggity, the loss of a friend can drive even the best of us to evil. It is. The LARP! You're the spirit of tea time future? Yes, apparently. Roll suit to you, I guess. <laughs> this future still seems to contain gravity, though, so it cannot be real. I would have been blown it up by now. Then. Yes, of course you would. Will, wait, why does Vlad sound like Meadow in this vision of Copper Kettle days to come? Well, you see, we've been sort of saving this, but uh, Vlad is Meadow. What? In the f from the future. What? You, it's future. It's like a time thing. So, like, it, when you die, it sends Meadow down a path to evil where he becomes a vampire. And um, so, so then he, like, has to travel back to the past to, to harvest his own blood because he's, like, a time vampire. Like, you, you understand. But then when, when, he, when he harvests all the blood, it, it accidentally turns him into a robot. So Vlad and Fuggins... And Meadow are all sort of the same. They're the same. They're the same. It's a time. It's a time thing. We're doing a time thing. Swiggity that. swaggity. That's your lesson. See. I <laughs> genuinely cannot believe that I have so little agency in this tale. How's that? Well, what was my lesson supposed to be through all this? Forgive those who killed me. They killed me, Glarp. They they killed me to to death. They are not owed my forgiveness. I mean, they also killed my whole family. Like, all dead. I watched. <laughs> it, it broke me. Swiggity. That's not better. Swaggity. <laughs> but two time Tony said. Yeah, where is that, Craig? You, sh show yourself, coward. With a magical flourish and a kettle whistle as tea time Tony appears. 
But tut tut, have you learned what this holiday is really about? Perhaps the spirit of you lives inside of you all along. Nothing lives inside of me. I am a ghost. We're we're literally all ghosts. Come to think, we are all ghosts. Hey, wait, yeah. Did you kill us? Are we dead? Doug Wog and a big bog, you guys. I just came from the past because I think that- We have been murdered and turned into holiday ghosts by this tea soak maniac. Yeah, what the cog, man? What are you Okay, I just went full Scooby-Doo, I'm sorry. That was great. <laughs> I, I was really here for it. And I'm here as well. I, I brought Vlad, I'm a, robo I'm a robot ghost. I mean, what even is that? I, did I, does that mean I had a soul at some point? Suspect we died when he poured boiling tea on all of us. Uh... Call it a war gobbler hunch. For, for what it's worth, uh, I was a ghost the whole time, but this is really messed up, and I, I'm mad for you guys. No, I, I think we just need to calm down and think this through. Take time to look. Look, I, I mean, hey, 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 look. We've all killed some people we didn't mean to here. Nothing to steam your kettle about. Hey, Vlad, if I destroy Tea Time Tony, can you transfer his unholy power into me? Well... Sure. That seems exactly like the kind of thing to do. Uh, the kind of thing I do, at least. All we need is for you to somehow harvest his skin. If you can carve <laughs> it all off. Okay. And we can stitch it into a proper suit that allows you to then take possession of his magical kettle. And if you can then get inside of the kettle, all of his powers will transfer to you, along with the dominion over all of his workshop areas where he harvests all of those orphans and compresses them into tea. Wait, no, 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 wait. I, I, I'm not the only Tea Time Tony. We are legion, for we are many. Killing me won't solve anything. He's lying. I witnessed all of the Copper Kettle days at once when I was uh, made the spirit of Tea Time Pass, and he's, he's alone. He's... So very alone. Looks like you stooped your last tea, you monster. Hold him down so I can skin him and wear his skin as a coat. This ends now. <laughs> Ready to be swagged. It's time for tea. And Annie was as good as their word. They tore me, tea time Tony, down to my base atoms. My necrotic power, combined with the well-stitched skin I used to possess, was placed upon them and caused my power to fill their spirit with ungodly knowledge of worlds past our own. Annie flipped the holiday, my actual plan all along, and became a spirit of wrathful vengeance who settled disputes between enemies with flawless and bloody justice. Also, Annie had several partners of varying gender identities. That's canon. Yeah. There's no one doing that, even if this never airs. And this is the early 2000s, so that's a big deal. These <laughs> sky pirates are soaring so high that they're breaking ground. This is Patrick writing now, and no one can stop me. No one, you hear me? I am king of the script! Well, for obvious reasons, this ending was deemed too dark and depressing and overall disturbing for air. So the following alternative ending was written by producers and three interns who were not given access to the previous portions of the script. Uh, so we'll just pick it up from there. Uh, this is an exterior ship's window, Copper Kettle Day. Annie, having learned a lesson about forgiveness or the holidays or some junk, flings open the window of her ship to shout down at a child in the streets. She's not a ghost. At this point, no one is a ghost. There are no further ghosts at any point. You there, boy! Annie, it's me, Meadow. Did you forget my name? <laughs> a charming boy, a most delightful boy. What's today, my fine fellow? Well, today, gee golly, good gosh, cog and cake cogs, Annie. It's, it's, why, it's Copper Kettle Day. I haven't missed it then. The spirits have done it all in one night. They can do anything they like, of course they can. There's still time to mend wounds between foes. I say, boy, is, is, is there still that unfathomably large bag of tea in the shop around the corner? Oh, you mean the one that's roughly the size of me? Uh, there is, but I think it's more of a promotional item than in a real sort of bag of a like, real tea. boy, a pleasure to talk to him. Time, <laughs> time for calculations of this ungainly tea bag. Now then, let's see here. Assuming you're an average-sized middle-class child of this era, let's call you oh, 45.7 pounds in weight. Now, a standard tea bag holds two grams per bag. Rounding up, there is 453.6 grams per pound. 
That would mean that the tea bag has, and again, I must stress, we're using rough estimates here, 20,752-ish cups of tea in it. You know, I'm, I'm remembering right now what we were the official sci-fi steampunk show of math clubs all over the country. No, we really are doing it. Um, yeah, I suppose No way that's... near finished here, my fine lad. So assuming each cup requires eight ounces of water, that would mean we need somewhere uh, above, oh, 1,300 gallons of water, counting some hasty compensation for evaporation as a boil. Meaning I require a copper kettle. And remember, it must be copper. Copper? Yeah, yes, of course. It's copper kettle day. Annie, I stated that earlier. Like, I'm aware of the significance yes, of it being is glorious. Copper. Now, the copper kettle we need shall be measuring in the range of six feet in diameter by seven feet in height. That doesn't account for the curve of the dome or any other volumetric abnormalities caused by style or support, but somewhere in that range. Should I be writing any of this down? Uh, I'm, I'm not even. I'm not seeing this anywhere in the script. Um, are you just ranting uh, about, a, about about a massive? Tea? It's in the script. It is in my special script. Never question me again, robot. Now, boy, fetch a kettle of that size and the water, and of course the tea bag, which is as large and heavy as yourself. All in the next ten minutes, and I'll double your pay. Oh, and of course, secure a heat source that can be sustained long enough to boil thirteen hundred gallons of water. Yes. Splendid. Now, let us treasure this holiday together, one and all. Uh, producer's note, uh, put in the, the original copper whatever Christmas song here. Next time, before you commission that thing, cost a fortune, it better deliver. We don't need a song. Oh, I thought this was a song. Is this not no, a song? No, no, just stop. I thought you were just giving emotional backing. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought you were show. just going to go for it. I, Meadow, I thought I was supposed to sing this next part. No, no Meadow, no, we did this not. once where you filmed it as a song, but then ultimately we went with you just reading it because we decided that a song was going to sort of extend it too yeah. long and then we wouldn't be able to fit in enough commercials and sell deodorant to fans of Riverdale. Three songs in this would be too many. Two was just right. Just right. This makes sense why it doesn't rhyme or in any sort of a song structure. Uh, <laughs> I shall surely purchase those items along with any other copper kettle say promotional items available for reasonable prices at your favorite supermarkets. Why they'd make perfect gifts for any occasion. Yeah, um, let me see. I too treasure and enjoy uh, all of my officially branded and readily available copper kettle day items. I cannot imagine, I cannot imagine holiday season without them. Was that good? That's good. Yeah. Sweetie, sweetie, no holidays complete without copper kettle accessories. I'd, I'd sell my best tentacles for quality goods like these. I'll take them. The, the real lesson of the holiday is that no holiday is complete without officially branded copper kettle day merchandise. <laughs> you can say that again, Annie. With these gifts, you're sure not to have a Vlad time. <laughs> and you don't have to take our word for it. What do you think, special celebrity guest star who lives in Mr. Nichols' phone? Yeah, so originally in this sequence, I think it was stated for Dame Judy Dench to make like a return surprise appearance in this. Uh, obviously unavailable at the time, uh, but I did wrangle a special guest just for the live feed here. Uh, so it is my pleasure to show you uh, a full clip uh, from someone who you might know online. Uh, they have been featured on collegehumor.com, on uh, Game Changers as part of Dropout TV. Uh, they starred and directed in the horror film uh, Scare Me. They just directed the horror film uh, Werewolves Within. Uh, and they recently released just now on Netflix, go check it out, a Charlie Brooker production. They just co-directed uh, death to 2021. So it brings me great pleasure to bring you Josh Rubin to read the final line of the script <laughs> on my phone. Here we go. Copper kettle day, bless us. Copper kettle day, bless us, everyone. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. That was uh, Josh Rubin. Hey. hey. For the record, I paused that 20, especially just talking about the 2021 thing. I paused it to do this. I'm halfway through it. It's great. You should all yeah, watch it. It's very good. You should all go see it. Um, yeah, the thank, big thanks to Josh Rubin. 
uh, close personal friends of ships of Northern hey. Fleet. So, I like him. Uh, I that. really enjoyed having him on set. He was very nice, very tidy, always always cleaned up after himself. Yeah, yeah. I believe he did do most of the sound effects for the ships. Just like that's true. Those are his favorite originals. Yeah. This is why I never met him. Because no one wanted to spoil like the illusion for me, so I never met him. Because he was hiding away with the microphone, doing all the sound effects, and oh. they just wanted me to think that was just the ship. We considered him a secret foley artist, and uh, whenever whenever you see secret foley artist in the credits, it's because it's Josh Rubin. Oh. And when I say he cleaned up after himself, he always did. There was lots of like he used to use like He's salty SFA. cracker wrappers to like get the 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 sales noises, but then he would always like put them in little pouches and take them off set. Is yeah, it's truly yeah, the sometimes microphone. he would have me like swallow a penny or other small objects and just put the mic next to my little tum tum here. Makes for great machinery noise. <laughs> uh, Fuggins, I'm not sure if you're aware of this. When you were originally constructed, you were constructed from parts of a trash can, and uh, so you're just making it multi. You're a multi-purpose actor. Is really wow, I, I always wondered why I had a sort of weird sense of paternal love every time I walked past a trash can on the street. You know. Is that why you always smell like hot garbage? That is not why I smell. That's intentional. No, that's a whole different story. Oh, okay. <laughs> we slathered him with pounds of hot garbage to get that s yeah. smell, Vlad. Well, that patina is it was really hard to achieve because he was he was pretty shiny mm -hmm. when he was first made. We had to age him up, didn't we? Yeah, I remember oh, that. Oh, like yeah. fine wine, I believe, was sent around a couple times. Yeah, that was what we rubbed him with was fine wine. That's right. Yeah, I made it myself. Is and, that uh, where my wine went? Yes, that is yeah. exactly where your wine went. Again, we were very frugal on set. Uh, and speaking of, first of all, again, big round of applause, everybody. For hey. the holiday special. Good times. Good times. Uh, I think we can see, get, it, as someone who's worked with producers, I get it. Sometimes there's a different vision with stuff. And as amazing and fantastic as a show of Sh uh, Ships of Northern Fleet was, you know, sometimes the money men come in, they make some choices, stuff doesn't get out there. But I'm glad we finally got to bring Patrick's true vision to life. Patrick, were you happy with that? I I, I was. We did it, everyone. <laughs> we did it, everyone. Patrick, um, Huzzah! It, there's a lot of emotion coming through just in the eyes right now. And I gotta say, I, that, my face is so hot. You can take that <laughs> off now, I think, now that we're done the script, if you like. I'm just giving that note for you. Why would you let him take that off? It's glorious. I mean, I'm a so kind hot. human being. I'm known for this. Well, uh, they we they are amazing being... in that. So uh, many right, tentacles. We're going to be moving right over to the Q&A right now. I've got Twitch open right now. Hopefully that's what you're watching this on. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Katiasaurus. Otherwise, I don't know how you're watching right now. And I'm very impressed. Perhaps uh, on YouTube, YouTube. In, in the future. Hello, future welcome, watchers. Welcome from the future. Hey. Tell us, is it better? It's not. Oh. Not. Yeah, I'm just, I'm Did just we not resync the voices for the songs on the YouTube? <laughs> no, no, we're not going to do anything. I think that those songs were exactly as intended, which is to be a pure cacophony of madness. That's, that's the that's way I remember weird. filming. I, yeah. I really enjoyed watching your face when we got to the third verse. And you were like, why I, did I... I tried to give you, like, an earnest out. of like, we could just stop after one. Mm -hmm. But y'all went three verses, and I'm very impressed. Um, we Jeff, wanted we everyone questions for cast and crew keep in mind we have some original cast we have crew here i do have a, a few documents where i know things of my own feel free to comment here on twitch there's a slight delay in my watching um i'm also going to be taking questions over on other things uh, and places i'll be pulling from all over where i can um oh there's a bunch of oh we have stream daddy mentioning stuff thanks stream thanks daddy i'll just throw that out there <laughs> and if you haven't robot. joined uh the discord or checked out the Wikipedia for Ships of the Northern Fleet. You're doing yourself a disservice. Uh, you can find both of those things by uh, looking for them online. I don't have links. I don't know where there's links being posted for oh, the Wikipedia. We have a link tree. By our very helpful mods. Eggs in the chat for mods. Thank you again for that. Uh, and I'm going to just see if we got any questions here. While I'm doing that, you guys can fill time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ooh. Um, we do have a link tree if you go to like link tree, but it's like linktr.ee slash s o t n f. All the links it. should be there. I will post those links in the in the, in the chat. We did it. I'm just reading now. You guys are doing a great job of filling time, by the way. Oh my gosh! Thank Showing you so us. much. Aha! I found it. Okay, I'm gonna spam that link into the chat if you all want to check out our link tree. Well, I am seeing I'm seeing a question here um, on my Instagram. Uh, which was a very fun one. Uh, they wanted to know that out of, because so, we've got the cast here, we know obviously you guys have gone on to great success and acclaim. 
They wanted to know who was like the smallest role that went on to the biggest thing in this. Do you guys? Oh man. Oh, Efron for be sure. Zach, yeah. Zach. yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah. It's gotta be Zach. It was Zach. Yeah. Zach. Zach Efron. I think some people have been talking about this. He was my photo, du- like Meadows' photo double. He became the stunt double after a while because we he just we worked together so well. He I was mean, a great I've Meadow. I've been meaning to say, Gary, you have an Efronian uh, look about you. You do. Oh, they're oh thank you. Kind yeah. of uncanny. Well, you that's know, here's, and here's here's the thing. A lot of times, and it's weird online. I I see stuff. They act like we're making stuff up. I know when yeah. we're doing these, yeah. and I find Which that is offensive. hurtful personally yeah. because like we're out here trying to share the good word trying to bring stuff and they're like oh where's your evidence oh how are you going to prove that you're doing stuff and like because our word isn't good enough i think if we say that it's true it's true and you should trust us enough to do that gary do you agree i think that should be true um i think over the summer i was getting a notable amount of comments telling me that i was a dirty liar which i don't appreciate no. um and it's hurtful I- I think uh, just, you know, yeah. Gary, bring, bring the receipts. Like, just shut the haters down. Yeah. Just bring you the have, receipts. You we don't need receipts, to bring the receipts, but bring the receipts. Yeah, pull, this, pull that up. Okay. Uh, this was made with hopes that it never had to be seen. But if, um, and shout out to Zach's brother, by the way. I think he might be watching right now. Um, but like yeah, brother. I'm just going to hit play. Let's see what this is. To all the Ships of the Northern Fleet fans, I know you've heard rumors of uh, Zac Efron being my photo double through that show, um, and it's true. And here he is. Totally it's true. I just want to give a shout out to the whole crew, man. It was so fun. Oh, hey, there he is. The oh, there he is. Yeah, man. Nice to stop for this guy. Oh. It's been, uh, it's been good reconnecting right now. It has. It has. Love you guys. It's Zac hey, Efron. Zach. 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 Can, you, can you just, like, pause that video and just hold it up? That was Zac Efron, then. Yeah. I don't understand I why people didn't yeah. realize that Zac Efron was actually a part of Ships of the Northern Fleet. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's it was I one mean, of his first roles. Right yeah, it was. He was. Yeah, he was so little. He's so little. Yeah. You're oh. both so little. It was and fun. I, I just, I would be shocked if if he didn't show up on IMDb after we finished this broadcast. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is the live web stream. Uh, if you haven't seen the IMDb page, it exists out there, and there's no way to everyone here hilarious that it's there because it's just a normal occurrence. It's day. it's a very normal no, thing to have. Nobody an IMDb here page is for you. No one here is specifically paying for IMDb Pro so they can continue what right. what one might call a bit. That would no, be absurd. Absolutely not. Absolutely. This isn't a bit. This all happened. It was this is there. all a very I, real thing. And so I remember. It's true. I, 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 and I, it's been so important to so many people. He wouldn't, Mr. Efron would not have gotten his role in High School Musical if it wasn't for him doubling for Meadow. That's Look, yeah, you just can't absolutely. make up, Originally. you can't make up details like this. Like I specifically right. remember when Gary and Zach Efron had a tuna melt eating contest when oh. we were shooting in Manitoba. Oh, God, that's oh, so, the so tuna bad. Melt. Yeah. I still I can't. I through my box. Of old call sheets, and what was interesting is uh, Zach was originally hired to double for Fuggins. Yeah, wow. but I guess you know you can't match that majesty, and they're like, well, Gary and him are the same size, so just kind of slid laterally over. But oh, that, that's Fuggins, do you mind if I show them the Zach's old prop? Oh yeah, yeah. Of do course. you guys remember? We actually we, we have Zach's original backup Fuggins because they used to make him just sit behind the counter because Fuggins would always be late. And so Eric, I think your department, didn't you guys build the mini one for Zac Efron? We we did build the mini one for Zac Efron and because of his hand thing, we had to make it very specially like that. Yeah, so this is this is the original. It's a, it's a little bit more beat up than real Fuggins. <laughs> yeah, too old, uh, yeah, a lot of people don't realize uh, we made that largely with a Pop-Tart box and masking tape. Wow. Uh, I was wondering where my Pop Tarts went. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Gary, if you did want to post that video later so people make me can see it more clearly, are you gonna put that up on your TikTok? Or... I'm gonna work I'm working on it right now. I think now is the time. I'm gonna post this on my TikTok. Red. Cool. So uh, if, to, Spread drop the word. TikTok so people know where to find you there, Gary. It's uh I think it's right underneath my name here. It's five forty five forty. First you spell it out, then you use the numbers F I V E F O R T five four zero. All right. I'll make post sure... it there as soon and as guys... we wrap this up. I feel like the chat was like going and going and going, and then suddenly the Zac Efron thing came up, and we stupefied the chat. I think we might have startled everyone a little bit. You know, know, Zac Efron was actually, he was doing pretty well. He was like following me around, trying to get my walk right. I have a weird lumbering gait. Um, But uh, I honestly just couldn't stand a guy. I'm just just saying that for the first time now. I, I just couldn't stand a guy. 
I heard he's very nice. I he's know. actually the, the best. Nicest to be guy. fair, Huggins, you can't stand anyone. Yeah. Well, that be, is also true. To be fair, you have never once liked anyone. So yeah, that is also true. You, the way, you uh, once tried to eat my adorable dog, Rocco. I once definitely oh, yeah. tried you, you and did dogs. not succeed to eat your beautiful dog. I don't know. I think Fuggins was pretty fond of me after a few rounds uh, after hours. You know, there was you know there was a there was a special time. Well, you I know, mean, after that, was, that, Logan, that was because milk. you also tried to eat my beautiful dog Rocco. Logan. Yes, yes. Well, you know, you got to take the good with the bad. What else? What, is, what does Tea Time Tony say? Uh, he always says, uh, "Shut up, Fuggins is right." That's true. That is a line. That is what he says. Uh, it's actually amazing. Big big props to Kate uh, for putting together some of the tech aspects of this day. Hey. But uh, Buggins is the only one coming live via satellite because he's in an actual satellite currently orbiting the Earth because they won't correct. let him back down here anymore. Oh, he's yeah, I'm actually here to repopulate. That's why I have all these dryers behind me. Um, <laughs> it's, that's the case. I, I'm just well, up to I was going to get you some questions, but... I'm going to put that aside as you explain how what you just said works. I honestly, I feel like we can move on from it. Okay. That's what yeah. I think. It's like the old well, book from Transformers. That does bring me nicely to our next question. Uh, this comes from, uh, and I hope I'm doing this right, <laughs> Sheena Snively uh, asks, was there any behind the scene romances on set? Hi, Sheena. Just hello, Sheena. And hi. I'm Sheena. Sheena. Well, uh, there was a, well, this is actually kind of a twofer because it's sort of a behind the scenes romances plus small actors that ended up being big uh do you remember the bullet blender that was in the uh that was in the break room you know uh that bullet blender and i we had some times together let's just say that <laughs> when i was watching you guys make that dressing for the two for the tuna sandwiches oh if you only knew the things that blender and i did anyways now that blender you went on to be in the sopranos so uh name's frank nice guy for me, it was Dame Judy Dench. Yeah, I was gonna say, Logan, you were you were the you were the the cast romantic. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you when you have someone as beautiful as as Miss Dench, how how could I say no? I could you? <laughs> I didn't is the answer. <laughs> didn't say no. Uh, well, actually, wasn't that, I, I, I said I, yes quite a lot though. Were you not romantically involved with her during her time in the movie Red, though? Uh, I mean, if if I'm not mistaken, you did the, a lot of uh, you, you did a lot of like st like stunt rehearsals for the movie Red with Dame Judi Dench. I mean, I don't know if it was stunt rehearsals, but the, there there were there were some some movements involved. Um, you you taught her to fire a sniper rifle. Okay, so our next question is. Uh... <laughs> From uh, Zilu Screen, Zilu asks, uh, question for the cast, is it true that the Copper Kettle drinking game started on set during filming? Yes, False. but it was an accident. I would like, I want to talk about this because here's the thing. The drinking game in and of itself has become famous, but it was an accident because I didn't know that there was, it, the wine was like, Mold. Like, I thought it was just, like, prop, like, grape juice that they, like, added some spice into to, like, you know, give us something interesting to drink. Because we did, like, what, like, 80, 90 takes of that one scene. And so then, I, so I was like, okay, I was just having fun, but it was mold wine, so I couldn't taste the alcohol. And then it, things just spiraled down. So it was, technically it was my fault. I'm sorry. I, for it's one, not, am it's... shocked that the production crew allowed Meadow to have so much of it before they realized. <sighs> I don't think anyone realized that it was the real stuff. It was supposed to be the fake stuff, and I think Vlad, Logan, maybe had something to do with it, it having it, the non-alcoholic stuff disappear. Yes, it Logan, wasn't, did you give alcohol to this child? It wasn't Vlad. There was a sale at Costco. It was more cost-efficient to use real mold wine from Costco. That's where it started. <laughs> That's I've been you holding on to the secret, I've been holding on to the secret for years. I was just told it was spicy juice. It didn't oh, question anything. I'm just saying that we told you why that. Gary has that Kirkland brand tattoo. So <laughs> I forgot about I'm, that. I'm just saying yeah. this right now, and this is a very earnest thing I want to put out to the world. Tattooing the Kirkland brand <laughs> onto yourself would be kind of hilarious. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I uh, I once considered an executive producer Dick Wolf uh, lower back tattoo. <laughs> 
Uh, that's a real thing. I was talked out of it in college, uh, uh, but now I really want just like a Kirk. Yeah, we talk you back into it. Bong bong. It's, I just like, thought that would be a hilarious. Strange level of layers to that joke that I'm not on top. That I'm not. It's, it's, it was great. It's just, it's, the, it's the joke that keeps on giving. It's fine. Uh. <laughs> This is this is magical, and I'm here for all of this. <laughs> uh, J C Hall one one zero or one hundred and ten. I don't know what your preference is. Uh, they have a question for the entire cast and crew. What was your favorite moment on set? Oh no! Oh no! We're all gone. Oh, I no, actually no, deleted no. the entirety of this. <laughs> we killed them. I'm special. Look, you the Manny. Uh, I am special. Oh, I'm dead too now. Look at that. Can, we, oh, can you still hear us? Uh, Kate, Kate, maybe maximize oh, Zoom again. So this it was is the maximized plan all along. Son what? Of bitch. Hold on. It's the fuggins show. Hold on. Him. He's fuggins. It's the fuggins. Oh god, if I have to like rebuild this whole time. thing, I'm gonna freak it's out. The fuggins and Annie show. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? You know what I love about ships of the Northern Fleet is every time we do something, it is a flawless endeavor of very polished and rehearsed actors. Oh, and actors. I uh -huh. well, Nothing could possibly hey. go wrong. Hey! Hey, we're back. I should put my I'm important I, again. I changed the window it was pulling the source from, which is a thing I didn't know you could do in OBS, but here we are. All right. Yep. <laughs> uh, you, the question was your favorite moment on set? <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> the one. Uh, I think it was at that same day when uh, our dear Gary here had imbibed uh, a, a bit of that mulled wine <laughs> and climbed to the absolute top of the, what do you call it, a crow's nest. So now we're endangering the child. It's yeah, not I mean, that we were endangering him, it's that he kept screaming, I'm Rage Against the Machine and climbing higher. I had just found out about Rage Against the Machine and I, I earlier was screaming, I am Nirvana and people just didn't think that was as cool, so I went with Rage Against the Machine. Was this like Which a actually, King thing you were having, or what? It's strangely enough, it's like if you don't remember the MTV Awards years later, when Rage Against the Machine literally climbed up on top of the. Oh, yeah. I think Gary, was, ah. Do you guys remember when Gary would recreate things that he saw during the MTV Movie Awards? Jeffrey in the Bezos, Jeffrey Bezos, well, as we all know, Gary is Jeffrey Bezos. was able to only see the future in that he would see what would happen at MTV Music Awards, which you'd think would be a limited power set, but wasn't. <laughs> Um, can I just point out that I did actually just today post, this is the floor of the old MTV set that uh, I kept, and now it's on my wall, so <laughs> shout out Sheena. Charmed lives, all of us. Um, uh, this actually na naturally goes into uh, David Genpro one asks, your biggest challenge shooting Sotniff? Hmm. Being Eric might have some stories, because, you know, obviously, and I just want to put it out there, Crew works harder than cast. That's, uh, I think, a fact we can all agree with. Not the cast. I mean, work hard. So crew works harder. I love Pat. They are amazing. But anytime we had to get Pat into costume, it was a nightmare. Um, with forty-seven pounds of tentacles on my face. Yes. And then you had yeah. to film. <laughs> yeah. I think it, it was, was also Patrick's refusal to take off any sort of tentacles during lunch that just made a lot of extra unnecessary mess. I mean, that's that's why we started to like run the wires into the cafeteria, into the the backlog cafeteria, was just so that we could like slowly lift all the tentacles, so he so they could shove sandwiches into was their the mouth, smoke and then we would lower the tentacles. Was all over that smoke the sandwich detritus falling out? All that smoke was that necessary, or was that just something that he, like, like Patrick made? It was a personal choice. Okay. I just got to wonder, at what season did you guys realize that you were using lead-based paint on all of his makeup? Oh, because we're using we using lead based paint. We recognized it very quickly. Yeah, I we realized changed it, changed it for budgetary reasons much later in the game. Is that bad? No, I mean, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're, you're, it's fine. It's fine. Look, you're alive. There's, it's among the many reasons we shoot in Canada. Yeah. You know, I did just have a question on the stream here about how many Emmys the show won. And what's weird, and I find this fascinating, is uh, despite obviously showing up at awards and stuff, you won't find any pictographical, videographical, or listed evidence of the Emmys that the show won. And I wonder why that is, Logan South. Uh, Do you perhaps know why the Emmys might have completely erased this show? Oh, from okay, the all right, all right. So uh, this is one this for is actually acting, kind of a 433 for, for sound design. That's true. This is, a, this is a really sensitive subject for me. So uh, there, there, was a, there was a problem where they they had they had announced the the nominees uh and i was nominated 
for best actor, or so I thought. Uh, the, the problem was that it was it was a mistake. They had accidentally put my name in because they were trying to do a different actor that, with a, with a similar name, but they did it during the night of, and so I went up to accept the award, and you know the other actor wasn't so happy about that, and I may have had a little bit of that mold wine and. So what we're saying is, is just if everyone could please uh, write to the Emmys and ask them to reinstate Ships of the Northern Fleet's awards, that'd be nice. You know, frankly, no I was use a single poor intern over there at all. True. I mean, frankly, I was just really uh, impressed that Bradley Cooper thought to, uh, you know, include that nod to that incident, Logan, in uh, in the most recent iteration of the uh, Star Is Born. I thought that was a really, you know, powerful statement about just how Sawnip continues to just be in the collective consciousness. You know, it was a very okay. sensitive thing for me, and they, you know, they didn't even ask me. They, no really? one came to me. No, no one came to me. I got a call from Mr. Cooper about four days after the film had released, and that's oh, it. Were you hanging no. on Mr. Cooper at any point, or just did I? Did I what? Hang with Mr. Cooper? No, I did not hang with Mr. Cooper. Me and Mr. Cooper are not that cool anymore. That's that's but not Joe a cool was thing to slide into your film right there. Is that is that because because you brought Fuggins with you and Fuggins tried to eat the dog from that movie? Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, can I correct premise. you real quick? I successfully ate the dog. <laughs> oh if, god! If, it's if so you bring much him worse. around pets, that's it kind happens. of happens. It just happens. Yeah. Makes that scene so much sadder knowing that dog got eaten by a robot. Yeah, I. I do think it's important to acknowledge the awards we did win. Uh, you know, Dame Judi Dench won a BAFTA for Tea Time Tony. Yeah. And I, I think it's also important to bring up that uh, Meadow won a Gemini Award uh, for his turn in The Crow's Nest. Um. A Gemini and a, a Juno, actually, for the music that Meadow played in the show. Canada has a, a, the Juno is like the Canadian Music Award of Canada. It, Gary, don't do you want to do the regular Juno joke, or should I do the regular Juno joke? You go. The regular Juno joke is while the awards are being handed out, you nudge each other and go, do you know who that is? Because <laughs> that. There was like, a, and this is straight up true, this year during the Junos, uh, everyone was at home. Because it's as the stuff happening in the world, and people that were like winning Junos were just like in their suburbs, running down the street, being like, "I want a Juno," and like it was really Canadian. So I remember they actually awarded me with three Razzies, but I, I actually to this day I don't know what a Razzie is. So I, I, I just, I just so this is this is a Razzie true story. Words. I was the bartender in the uh, the event space where they held the Razzies for three years running. And oh, okay. Me, they wouldn't let me into the actual Razzies themselves, so I stood outside while they handed out those, and then I served people wine that had turned. Oh, oh okay. Upset. Actually, I, I did win this. Probably why I don't remember much of it. Like, what is a Razzie? What? What is? What even is that? Was that like? A, it's like a big award. It's, it's this very was very prestigious. Uh, do you remember how uh, um, every spring we would have those uh, ships, uh, ship Olympics? Fleet Olympics, whatever oh, we call them. Yeah. Olympics. This was the time that I didn't win, but you all felt that I <laughs> feel bad if I didn't get an award, so I got a trophy. I mean, I kind of still feel like it was really unfair to ask the seven-year-old to compete with adults. Like we. I think it was unfair that Patrick was physically shoving me down during the hundred-meter dash. Well, if you're gonna come to play, <laughs> I thought it hard. was. I thought it was unfair that on Labor Day you made us go out and make him a trophy. The, tro the trophy shops are closed on Labor Day. Everybody knows that. Yeah, but you had parts like, like, look at it. It's still yeah. got the little part from the. We didn't want to make it for him. We wanted to just go out and buy it and hand it to him. He was nine. He wouldn't have known the difference. No, I thought it was really nice. I got to feel like included in that little thing. I used to have, uh, remember that little. Uh... It was yeah, you used to have those right parts, here. but we didn't, the scene shop That's wasn't right open, so we took the parts off of Fuggins yeah. to make the trophy yeah. for Meta. Yeah. She has a little piece well, of it's good. It was sort of like taking a, like a thorn out of a tiger's paw or something. It had been bugging me for years, and so I was like, hey, if you can get this thing off me, you can use it for whatever, whatever trophy-related incidents you have going on. Yeah, but we had to use CGI to put those parts back into you for continuity for scenes later, and as noted in the script, our CGI was terrible. Oh, I was wondering why they kept poking me, drawing all those little dots on me before the before scenes and stuff. 
I could send it back to you now. Hey, you know what? Hey, look at me in my look at me in my regular eye. You can keep it. It's for you. Oh, thank I, you. I do want to say, if ships of the Northern Fleet was known for anything, it is a consistent and pure continuity. Uh, Absolutely, there's never been any contradictions in the history of the Shower Box. That's correct. That's true. Yes. It's a pretty streamlined show when you think about yeah. it. <laughs> uh, also, Logan has lost himself to the darkness. I have. I, I shall return in just a moment. Oh. Oh, hey, this episode is brought to you by EOS Webcam Utility. EOS Webcam <laughs> are you plugged in? EOS Webcam hey. Utility. Are you uh-huh. maybe excited to see something? Hey, uh, right. Uh, thank you, Zilu. Yes, have we not all lost ourselves to the darkness? Thank that's you. Right. <laughs> it's fine. That's all right. <laughs> Well, that's why, uh, isn't that why we started saying the, like, the song is Bright Copper Kettles, because um, this, this darkness is all consuming all surrounding. Hey, hey Kate, oh. I'm sorry to, to, to bring this up, like, while we're broadcasting, but do you see, do you see this? Look, look, we're in the same room. Don't pretend like we're not in the same there room. There I am. Up. Look, at, <laughs> look at my side right here. Do you see that? This yeah. little switch? Yeah. It looks like it's flipped to naughty. Did you, did you put that switch there? I I don't Eric do, did you know anything about that? Uh yeah, we installed that at the request of Fuggins himself. Oh yeah, I remember that. Well, cuz I was having a hard time being so mean to everybody cuz you always write my character so mean. So I put a they put a little mean naughty nice little switch over here, but you can just flip it. Like it's there's no lock or key. I want, mean, I can't quite reach it. Do you but... want do you want me to flip it? Hey, do you think you could flip we what? have our little tea, t- tea kettle day yeah. miracle over yeah, here. Yeah, sure. The little on, switch. I guess this is a oh thing my that God. we definitely... Okay, so let's go to space. Spe- okay, okay. Hold on. I, I gotta... You can do this. You can, it's, it's, there's it's a lot of cables. Space this whole okay, time. okay, okay. All right, where is it? There's, there oh. are so, so many cables. cables. It's right, it's right it's like under my armpit. There okay, you okay. Yeah. This one? Is Katie in space? Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. I You know you know that noise that you guys make when you like have a kink in your back and you finally get it? Oh. Yeah, a fart. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. Oh God, what it would be no like to fuck. I feel bad. You know what? A second ago, you know, Logan and and Gary, I was really mean to you guys when they asked if we had a, had any relation. I was really, you know, I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I don't know what that was. I apologize. I appreciate. I mean, that. wait a minute, wait a minute. I wanna, yes. I wanna do an experiment. Pat, put on the mask. Oh, oh no. Oh yeah, put up, this is it'll be great. It'll be like uh, it'll be like some Winter Soldier stuff. Put on the mask, Pat. <laughs> also, I like how that last thing you just said could never be taken out of context and used in a clip that would be somehow hilarious. Oh, later. never, no. <laughs> oh, hey, <laughs> look at those those are some nice pentacles you got going on there, buddy. That's cool. That looks nice. That looks really comfortable and warm. Are we? Is this a Copper are Kettle we, Day miracle? Are we witnessing a Copper Kettle think, Day miracle? I think this might lost. be a Copper Kettle Day goddamn miracle happening right now, because I freaking love that tentacle guy over here. Oh, I feel weird about it. Can I do one more check? Yeah, Fuggins. yeah, sure. Whatever you want, best friend. For best friends now, by the think, way, I decided. What do you think about ex-wives? Oh, I, lo- I, I love every single ex-wives, except for the one who uh, who, who died and requested that I, that I stop loving her so I can move on with my robot life, but I'm still quite fond of her very much. It's a yes. Copper Kettle Day miracle! Yeah. Yay! I'm good now! Copper Kettle Day, I'm good now! Nice guy! 100 seasons! 100 seasons! 100 seasons! <laughs> At what point does this become intellectual property copyright issues? I don't know. I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna oh, say don't it. worry. The chat has been saying it for like. <laughs> chat Jesus. wants it flipped back. Chat, <laughs> flip chat wants back. it flipped back. No. I, won't. I won't. We just we just got good fuggins. We just got good fuggins. Do you know how many how many world problems I can solve with the processing power that you put in my brain Thanks. that I just you can wasting? Solve a lot of Kate, 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 flip it back, but not all the way. Ah. Oh. Oh come what, on! Like just, what, what is that? What does that make me move? But just like, just like, just... not quite. Just like, just like, start to flip the back. I don't think you all understand the amount of cords between me and. There's a lot of cords. There's a lot of cords. Just like, like cords. Flip it back just enough so that you're interesting, Actually, but no, wait, not I think awful. I can help on this. Uh, hey, good. Are you around anywhere? Yeah. What's up? Yeah, uh, <laughs> could you flip the switch to the halfway on fuggins? Do it. <laughs> All right. 
I'm just gonna wait. So where am I going? What? <laughs> Which fucking voice am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go midway. I'm just gonna go. What? Like twenty percent? Yeah, like twenty percent. Yeah. All right. There. No. That's that's this like twenty percent. This is like a game of naughty. Dungeons and Dragons with no DM. I feel close <laughs> to you, by the way. Me too. Absolute chaos. Absolute madness. Well, well there I am. Now just... I'm like regular. I'm regular, <laughs> naughty, regular, nice. Right. You know? I'm gonna uh I'm gonna take this plane and just see if there's a runway underneath of us. Uh <laughs> I'm just so... gonna say I'm just hitting I'm hitting post on the Zac F runway. Oh yeah, so. everyone Heck please yeah. make sure to go over. Um because again, and I must stress this enough because it's weird to say, but the more real you make this feel, the more real it is. We're kind of like Peter Pan flying. Just bring some see. happy thoughts on this. Um, it's there. Yay! Oh, go watch that. Hey! I am ambivalent hey. about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we set him to neutral. Uh, I yeah, have no I'm, strong opinions. I, I, I think oh, no, neutral he's buggins depressed. is scaring me more than either of the others. <laughs> I apologize that you feel just... that way, man, but respect your opinion. Oh, he's the worst now. Neutral fuckings will eat your pets, but not feel one way or another about it, which is somehow worse. <laughs> I indeed will do that, but I will forget the names before I start, so it's not personal. Wow. I don't know if that's better. Um, really I indifferent I'm, pet slaughter. I'm going to just cycle us through. Uh, I'm going to start at Patrick and move our way back. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, I'm starting at Patrick, I've decided. <laughs> I was looking at my screen, not the Zoom screen. It's oh. fine. Um, if you could give one Copper Kettle Day wish to the world, what would it be? Oh, more tentacles. Oh, that's fair. That's lovely. Thank you. Just in, I in, out of, around. I'm so glad I let you elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kate, your Copper Kettle Day wish? Oh, uh, world peace and also <laughs> mandatory snacks at all D&D tables. Oh, very nice. Uh, Gary, your Copper Kettle Day wish. Uh, <clears throat> that my throat would work. Um, I was... Uh, I just wish life would get better for everyone as a whole. Is that too real? <laughs> so, it's okay. It's okay. That, that unflinchingly, Gary is the most wholesome individual any of us have ever met. Yeah. And we have to protect him at all costs. That's true. That's true. <laughs> just, the, that's the realest part of all of this. I just I just got legitimate goosebumps when I was yeah. like, oh, Gary. Oh, Gary. Uh, Eric, your copper yeah. kettle day wish? Uh, for everyone to have all of their cables managed. Ooh, oh, that's, <laughs> that's a big nice, wish. Nice. Hey, keep it reasonable. <laughs> just kind of world peace or something. Uh, Logan, <laughs> copper kettle day? Uh, so I just want everyone to remember the spirit of the season and the true meaning of Copper Kettle Day. And that is when, when you know that people have run out of tea. It is your responsibility to find as many orphans as possible to <laughs> harvest and break down okay. into that holiday beverage that brings the most joy. He's right. Sounds okay to me. I can't answer this. Uh, Fuggins? Um... Uh, I guess I would take like a bowl of unseasoned room temperature white rice <laughs> with a glass, a uh, glass of uh, tap water. water. What? That's your that's your cup of your kettle day wish. Yeah, that's my his, cup of kettle day his, wish. His switch is still in the middle. He yeah. didn't even wish it to anyone. He didn't even wish it to himself. He just said, "I wish that happened." I wish, I wish that I wish that somewhere Simple. in the universe that existed. I just want to put it out there that uh, an amazing band name is Neutral Fuggins. <laughs> like, if you want to make like an Imagine Dragons cover band and call it Neutral Fuggins, <laughs> just... yeah, I, I acknowledge that as being humorous. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Well, my biggest wish for everyone out there is to have a uh, reasonably happy time because you can't wish anyone happiness because you don't know when it's coming. But I want you to take a moment to reflect uh, inwardly that you just spent an hour and a half doing something really silly. And that's fun. And that's a wholesome thing you've brought to your life in the world. Um, this will be up on YouTube later, or it's right now. I don't know how time works. We've been to the past, the future, and the present today. Um, so I just want to take time to celebrate you, the viewer at home, specifically you. You know who you are. You know who I'm talking to right now, and it's you. You are the most important. And thanks to Mr. Nickel for everything that uh, he did for all of this. And Eric, Yay. everybody, yeah. everybody. everybody.
I'm Yay. just doing this because everybody else is doing it. <laughs> Participating. Yeah. This legitimately like legitimately ships on our fleet has been probably my favorite thing of 2021. It's uh I can't thank Mr. Nickel enough for, yeah, for being I, the it's origin been of my it. favorite thing to explain this, to my parents. Trying to like remember everything and coming back together for this year and just all of the, the old memories coming back, all the new memories being made. Legitimately, the best part of like this has been best. so great. It's been the best I, I do want to say it's a really great bit of fun. It's, it's a, a great, great bit, bit of fun. It's mm -hmm. a great bit of fun. Um, so we hopefully I'll say it here now because we're gonna try to get together somewhere around February 3rd. Is going to be the anniversary when all of us kind of all at once remembered ships of the northern fleet we're going to try to do something around there uh, mark your calendars in of can you vaguely mark your calendars around february 3rd schedule dependent uh somewhere in there but this year the fleet fans have they brought back everything i could have wanted we have a 300 plus page wiki we've got competing discords as far as far as i can understand which could work we have a subreddit we were a full page in the New York Times actual print edition, which exists in the world, uh, which, again, thanks so much for that world. That is fantastic. And there, it's framed and everything. It looks like this. <laughs> I haven't hung yeah. it up yet. Oh, yay. Yeah. And my favorite part of this uh, is that this year, through a thing we loved and a thing we brought together that represents each and every one of us, who you are is valid and beautiful and wonderful, and I want you to keep exploring and finding and sharing that with others. And we, through sales of merchandise and whatnot, raised about two thousand dollars for the Trevor Project out of out of pure fandom, hey. out of pure joy and fandom. Uh, that's really gone on to help a lot of LGBTQI plus uh, kids in need uh, through their hotline. So this is without a doubt the most wholesome fandom I have ever been a part of. <laughs> And I want to thank everybody for that. Uh, so Copper Kettle Day, bless you, everyone. Uh, take a cup of tea, take your favorite beverage, share it with someone you love, even if that someone's just you, because you should love yourself. Uh, and I just want to go out on that. Uh, I think I think we're about good. Does everyone else feel they're good? Oh, oh absolutely. Copper Kettle Day, bless us. Wonderful people in here. Thank you, mods, so much for helping out today. Thank you all of us for showing up. Uh, be sure to follow every single person here's social medias and mine if you're bored and want to. And I think we're going to end this on an updraft, if I do say so myself. Uh, so we're going to do three, two, one, and we are flawlessly all at once. As we've seen, we can perfectly sync. The harmonies are incredible. <laughs> going to do an updraft. Here we go. Three, <laughs> two, one. Updraft! <laughs> Happy Copper Kettle Day, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Yay! Uh, and for you. everybody who's watching on my stream, we're going to raid into 20 sides to every story. They're a great group of folks who are playing D&D. I uh, met them at the last convention we went to. Real cool. Uh, and there's a bunch of you, so, you know, it's a, it's an, it's a nice flex for Copper Kettle Day. Uh, so thank you all so much for being here. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I'm going to awkwardly wait for the raid to load now. I ran out, Ooh, I, I, I ran out of stuff to say. Okay, all right. Well, thank you, everybody, for being here. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your Copper <gasps> Kettle Day. Bye. 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 Bye now. Wait for it. Wait for it. And it's a raid. Wait for it. Yep. Is it go? You're up. Yeah. Yeah, I see the raid on my end. Awesome. I see. Right. I just went into the raid on my.